Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your end of March love reading. We will just see whatever comes up. I'd ask that you guys use your common sense. This may not resonate with you. I cannot reach every single person. I'm going to get one of these oracle cards and then we'll break it into that tarot deck. Please keep in mind that I don't allow any bashing in the comments. They will be. I, I approve every comment. So if you bash your ex under there and mention their sign, it will be deleted and blocked. And I pretty much said that for the cross watchers because it's the cross watchers that do it. Okay, so just keep that in mind. One card. We will reveal it at the end. Gemini. What do we have for Gemini? I said the same thing for the Libra reading. And we still have people going on there and, and bashing those, the exes, you know? So it's just like, what, you didn't even hear me say that? Ooh, new beginning. You guys have learned something big. You're on a new journey or you're starting a new journey. You've, success and victory. You guys have ended one phase and you're starting a new phase in your life that's positive, okay? There's a positive change here. It's like you guys are restoring some balance after maybe a little bit of chaos. Maybe it's with children, but I feel like there has been some insecurities, but I think that's over now. I feel like things are starting to balance back out in your life. And you and your patience is paying off. Maybe it's patience with children, I'm not sure. Yes, you guys are starting a new journey. There's a transformation here. Big changes, all right? divinely guided as well I mean out of the five cards we have three majors this is divinely guided changes okay yeah I think that uh, you guys have been through some serious hurt you've been through some sort of grief all right but you guys are taking the next step with faith and trust this is like you know what I'm gonna start to bring some balance back to my life that's what's going on here balance is being restored because you guys are taking the lead you guys are bringing structure back to your life by taking the lead, removing chaos. That's what's going on. Maybe you guys have cut off communication with somebody from your past. And that's what's that was a huge lesson, right? There's some sort of co uh, completion here that leads to vict victory and success. And it could be because all communication has been cut off. We do have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Aries here. We have Sagittarius up there. We have Scorpio here. I think that you guys have this renewed confidence, courage, and strength to take back control. It's like, I am in control. And you're moving very quickly, huh? You guys know exactly what's going on here. You're mo moving forward in a very, at a very fast pace. You took the future in your own hands. I'm not going to let somebody decide what's in front of me. I decide. I think you guys are being your own boss this week. It's like, I'm the boss of my future. Get the hell out of my way. There's been some sort of rebirth, renewal. Growth. You guys have grown a lot. And this, I do believe, think, ha, think, I think this has to do with children. I do. There's this newfound confidence, like I said. You guys have made a lot of progress. There's victory and success all over in this reading. And it's because you guys are not letting anybody take you down. 
You're getting exactly what you deserve because you're putting in the effort. And you're probably receiving as well because people can see that, that you're so strong. <laughs> so here we have a lack of faith, lack of trusting of an inner guide. You could also be going against the traditional approach. You know, I'm not going to take the traditional approach. We're going to do it my way. That's probably what it is. You are. That's exactly what it is. It's like, no, we're not going to go the traditional approach. I know what I need to do here, and I suggest you follow me. <laughs> you know, it feels like you are receiving a message, whether it's from another person or it's from within, and it may not be what you want to hear, but you're accepting it and you're taking action. I think you're, you've been dealing with some mild conflicts, probably with some people that are younger than you or on the younger side or they're very immature and they're pushing your buttons and you're handling it very, very well. You guys have persevered, huh? You really have. You've been up against some challenges. I feel like somebody, you know, you've had a lot of debate, demands and responsibilities on you and you may have felt a little overwhelmed, but it feels like you are unstoppable. And I think I said this before. Um, I feel like you are doing whatever it takes to prevail, you know. Yeah, you're holding on to your own beliefs. You are. That's what's going on is that you guys are holding on to your own ideals, your own beliefs, and you're not letting anybody hinder your progress. There's some, there could be some addictions. You could be dealing with somebody with addictions, obsessions. Um, there could be some lust here as well. Manipulation. Maybe somebody was trying to manipulate you and you cut off communication with them. Yeah, you've moved away from this manipulative person. You're releasing this burden. It's too heavy. It's too heavy to carry this, this addiction or obsession whatever it is there's obsessions two places here there's some sort of obsession here it could be an addiction you could be dealing with a child who's addicted because i see children here and motherhood again but you guys have accepted this struggle you have you've accepted it and you're seeing things from a new perspective or you're seeing things from your perspective and you're not letting anybody hinder your beliefs and it's been, it's been a lot to carry, huh? You guys have been carrying around some, some burden. And you may have been carrying around way too many burdens, like other people's burdens as, as well. Because it looks like you're dealing with somebody who has addictions. And you, you may be the person that is the authority figure in this situation that needs to bring control to the situation. It looks as though you you know exactly what's going on. You're seeing things absolutely clearly. And like I said, I mean, this card is just reiterating everything I was saying. And I hate to repeat myself, but this is you know. I know. You know. And you know that you know. You are seeing the situation ops absolutely clearly. That's what this card says as well. Reversed. I see clearly now. You see the situation clearly. There's no doubt about it. And I think you're dealing with a younger person, again, that is trying to hinder your beliefs. And they're lying. They're not telling you the truth. I believe you're dealing with somebody who is lazy and complacent. And they don't want you to stop them from doing whatever they're doing. So they're, I just think you're dealing with somebody who doesn't have any focus, doesn't have any concentration, Somebody who is a quitter and you're like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to push your buttons until you get moving. You know, you see the truth of the situation. You And I know that I'm repeating myself, but these cards are just reiterating. So there's some kind of recovery going on here. Maybe you're helping <coughs> a child through recovery. I don't know what this is. But there's some sort of recovery here where you are in charge.
helping somebody to release something that no longer serves them, whether it's you or another person. Yeah, there's a lot of power struggles here. There's a lot of conflicts. It looks like somebody is, you know, they're, they like a competition. They like to play games. They like to cause conflict. And you're just like, I see exactly what games you are playing. Somebody is lying and not telling the truth. And you know who it is. Now, there's a lot of lack of faith here. Somebody has lost all their faith and they're very discouraged. Now, I don't know if this is you or the other person. I tend to think it's the other person and I think that you are the rock, okay? I think that you are the rock in this situation and that you are helping somebody to overcome some sort of addiction or obsession. And they are going through some sort of recovery, whether it's you or the other. Somebody is going through some sort of recovery period. And regaining control over their lives. Now this could be you or the person you're helping. But there is some sort of recovery here. Somebody is becoming alive again. Bringing happiness back to, them, to their lives. Removing obstacles. Because wherever they were at there was no growth. And I feel like you are helping somebody to find wish fulfillment or you're finding wish fulfillment. But I think you were dealing with somebody who is unrealistic and unable to accept the truth or speak the truth. And this person uh, was very lazy. I see a lot of laziness here. You were dealing with somebody that was very, very lazy. And I think that you're just like, hell no. I'm not going to pretend anymore. Somebody has been procrastinating and ignoring the truth of a situation. And it feels like, you know, <coughs> excuse me. Um, this dilemma, we can't turn a blind eye to this dilemma anymore. We have to deal with this dilemma head on. And it feels like you guys are the leaders here. Yeah, there's some, this could have to do with a child. And again, and I think this has happened quite a bit with you guys. Is you guys are dealing with a child, I think, that has some issues. And that you guys are taking the lead to get them where they need to be. Because all faith has been lost at some point. And I feel like there's a new opportunity here for emotional an emotional connection. Where there's good news coming in. And I think it's welcome and unexpected where somebody is headed down the right path where basically love prevails. Love and care. There could be a child leaving, going away, you know, going to an institution, being institutionalized. I mean, I'm just saying, I don't know. You know, and I feel like this, I don't know, I don't know where this is coming from, but I feel like... There is something um, changing in your home life. And I think it could have to do with some, some, like I said, child. I'm sorry to repeat myself. But there's a lack of self-love here. And I don't think it's you. It could be. It could be. Somebody here is going, they may be seeking counseling through some sort of institution. And you may be the, oh, uh, what's, it, what's that called? Son of a bitch. Intervention. You know, the person that... Uh, Pushes the intervention, something like that. Um, but anyway, there's some sort of change in, in family dynamics because of a child that needs some help. Uh, you know, and they, I don't know if you're the child, you know, we're all children at one point, right? But somebody is seeking or needing help. Not all is as it seems, right? There's a lot of uh, fear here. And mystery. <laughs> <coughs> I 
I'm sorry, I got this, like, I got this blockage, of, like, in my chest, which I haven't had. You know, I feel like there's been a lot of criticism here. There's been a lot of pushback. You were dealing with somebody who wasn't being realistic. They didn't want to speak the truth. They didn't want to hear the truth. They didn't want to believe the truth. But I feel like there's been too many conflicts to ignore and that now, you know, we, ha we have to address this illusion. Somebody has been overdoing it, okay? So they've probably been um, burying their problems in maybe drugs and alcohol, okay? Because, I mean, there's definitely some addictions here big time that, some, that need to be dealt with. So there could be... You know, a decision that's being made for somebody to go get some help. Somebody is taking the motherly approach. That could be you. Okay, somebody is deciding to that we need to be do, do the responsible thing, the practical thing, and, you know, bring stability and security back to this situation. So I feel like there has been somebody that may, been, may have been doing something illegal. This is illegal dealings in reverse. They have been doing something illegal. And, you know, there's no more second chances. The time is up. You have to go get some help. There could be some court dealings. Yeah, somebody is about to get caught. They've been lying. Somebody has been lying. And now somebody else is turning their back on this person, but they're not really turning their back. The other person feels like they're turning their back, but they're not. They're getting them some help. Because the other person wasn't interested in working on themselves. So somebody has to intervene at this point. It looks like there's an intervention here and you're involved. It's supposed to be a love reading, but I can't make it be a love reading if it's not. This is you. This is also a judge. There's judge. There's some, there could be, you know, a judgment coming through that changes your life, Gemini. So I think I'm going to stop here. This is not a love reading. I feel like this is a family dynamic kind of thing. Um, and I feel like there are some changes on the horizon, whether this is uh, the end of a love relationship because somebody was cheated. There is cheating here, lies, deceit. This could be the end of, a, of, a, of something because, you know, the lies have come out. And whatever's going on here is you're taking control. You are taking back control of your life. And there ain't nobody going to step on your toes. And I feel like you guys are the boss, you guys are the leaders, and you guys are the ones doing the work here. And you're dealing with somebody else that really needs a kick in the ass, and you may be the kicker. So I feel like there definitely could be some, some court issues. There could be some judgments against you or another person. I'm not sure if this, because this can go both ways. But I really think it's towards another person where, you know, you are taking the lead. And you're moving away from a difficult situation. You ready? Listen. You have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention. Not to just what's being said, to but what... To, but to what lies beneath the words. <clears throat> you know, whenever I see this card, I think that you've been lied to. And you have been. I can see that somebody has been lied to because somebody has been, you know, trying to cover up their addictions or whatever. And uh, I think that you are seeing the situation absolutely clearly now. And we cannot cover this up anymore. We are going to deal with these lies head on. And I feel like you guys are the the kicker and that's what I have talk to you later